Hey guys, welcome back and today let's talk about the battery in iPhone 11 Pro. In this video I'm gonna break it down. I have the phone for approximately three weeks. Is the battery any good? Does it last all day and etc. So I'm testing this phone for a while now and uh, generally speaking the battery is actually really really good. I'm gonna give you a couple of examples, couple of days that I ran through, what I did and stuff like that. How the battery lasted, what apps I use and so forth. So I do this part-time job when I drive for a living. I drive some kind of delivery van right here on the picture. Obviously I had to blur out the company for obvious reasons. But uh, yes, so I use the GPS app a lot. I use YouTube a lot and some other apps too. So three days ago I went to Boston, Massachusetts going from New York. The trip was approximately a little bit more than three hours. Um, the GPS was running consistently for the entire three hours due to, to the point of, you know, me not being late for delivery or what have you. And uh, consistently three hours on GPS, got there, so the phone was still, I would say at least 60-70% of the battery or more. And um, after that, basically, I used the GPS again. The phone went on standby. I used the GPS here and there again to go to some other stops for another hour or two, I would say, consistently. So we're talking minimum of five hours on GPS. The phone lowered the battery, but it was still about maybe 40% 40, 40 or a little bit more. And then I started to roll back to New York. And by the way, between, since there is two of us, basically I started to use YouTube a little bit. I also talked talk to my wife, used the phone for you know a couple of short conversations. And, um, and finally, when I was getting back to New York, the battery was getting low, but there was another hour or two minimum of GPS as well because I used it through almost the entire road again. I didn't have to, but I was just kind of testing the phone actually. So we're talking about very minimum of six hours on GPS. And for the part of the trip, I was basically driving on GPS while talking to someone on the phone, which drains the battery even more. And with all that being said, somehow this phone basically went to lower 10 to 20% of the battery at the end of the day. But that was amazing. It lasted the entire day and I came back to New York basically 13 hours later. So 13 hours later, when I basically arrived, the phone didn't have to be charged yet. Yes, it wasn't used the entire 13 hours, to be fair. But in the same token, if I would use it the entire 13 hours, maybe it would have died right there. Maybe an hour before. So basically, probably consistent use of 12 hours, which is absolutely crazy because the iPhone 7 that I had, it would last only a couple of hours on GPS and that would be it. That would be dead right there. Actually, when I went to that trip like a month plus ago, before I had the iPhone 11 Pro, uh, the iPhone 7 basically lasted a couple of hours and... I went to Boston three hours later and the battery dropped already to 30 plus or 40 percent, like 30 plus percent after only three hours on the GPS. Same trip that the other phone basically took like maybe 30 percent of the battery. The iPhone 7 actually lost almost 70 percent of the battery. Huge difference. Also one more thing that I like about this uh, kind of battery management with all the CPU of the phone and stuff like that and the chips that they have that if it's low consumption, it literally doesn't waste any battery. It's like insane. If you run some low powered apps or you're responding to text messaging and doing a bunch of stuff, it uses so low battery that is almost unrecognizable. Like you don't know if it's wasting the battery. Also the standby I realized, like the phone basically was lasting the entire night. I charged it on 100% and six or seven hours later, the phone, yes, the phone is on standby, kind of, right? Because we're sleeping. But basically, the phone still had 100% in the morning. 100% charge, couple of hours later, still 100%. So the, the efficiency of that chip, and especially lower consumption mode for the battery, it actually works great. So it's hard for me to tell you how this phone is, battery is gonna last for you. But I gotta say this is pretty impressive to me. And the battery really lasts a long time for me, way more than iPhone 7 in the same token, 
the phone is brand new. The life of my battery of iPhone 7 I think is about 80% or 70 plus percent so there is some little bit deterioration of the battery life of my phone therefore the battery gets weaker but in the same token even if the battery of iPhone 7 was new there is no way it would last that long. I cannot compare it to other devices simply because I don't have them but as far as the iPhones go like this battery is really cool. Also a few days from now I'm gonna try to do camera review like of the iPhone 11 Pro the camera system, how good is it, how crystal clear the pictures get and stuff like that. So wait for that video to come. Thank you. Stay motivated. Make another video today. Bye guys.